Good morning, Fish Tube. Welcome back. Um, so, this tank is now running, I would have said it was 70% uh, new filtered water. Yesterday, uh, I just did probably a 60% water change and then put uh, most of this in here and this was pretty much completely newly filtered water so i say we're in the 90s right now probably for saturated like saturating the old water out probably got 90 percent of it out right now and this tank is after the water change and it's going to settle out a little more but Or this we're looking at soon after. I really shouldn't even show this right now because it takes a couple hours before it's going to settle out. But where we're going to end up is somewhere between these two. Probably the 6.0. I'm sorry, the 6.2 and the 6.6 range. So that's definite improvement because I was in the 7s before. On, on pretty much all my tanks. I had managed to sque squeak this one down, but it was, it wasn't right. Um, so we're getting a lighter results in the breeding tank. That's, they're a little disturbed, so I got them lights out, but we'll go have a look. So I uh, just changed out about 70% of this water. We got them lights out because uh, I've had a lot of stress the last couple of days, so we're just going to keep them lights out today so they can chill out and calm down. This water would probably be 100% uh, newly filtered water now. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see the meter very well. Try not to spook them. More light over here. You can see it's it's settling out where I pointed on the uh, last tank. It's doing pretty good. That's six two six six range, and uh, so that's where they're at right now. I gave them some blood worms. Looks like they ate it, so they're calming down. But they're definitely if I turn the lights on, they're. They're skittish right now, so we're just going to let them calm down. Um, we're trying out a new heater from Amazon. Uh, this is I got it 25% off, and it was $15 for a 100 watt heater. Seems to be working just fine. It's getting me up into 85 degrees, and uh, the dial says something like nine. It tops out in the 90s. Probably gonna bump it up to make sure I can do 86, 87. I have a sponge filter coming today for this, and uh, one of these, one of these guys, I gotta get another pump going on the on these two tanks, and uh, I'll have everything arranged like this down here. I moved the, the sponges down because uh, one of the, one of the discs touched the heater and almost jumped, well tried to jump out of the tank, there's a lid, and I was like, whoa, can't have that, so now we're shielding it that way, so we never have that additional stress factor in the tank, and we'll be doing that upstairs with the newly coming sponge filter, the arrangement will be like that, and uh, I'm also going to add another pump to this layout, one pump per tank, and increase the flow rate. I think after all that's done, we should have a very uh, good system going on here. And uh, these discus just got to get comfortable and lay eggs. She's definitely got a batch in her belly, and uh, we just we just got to make sure they're, they're going to be happy. As you can see, they're starting to wander around, and uh, I just changed their water, so they'll, they'll get over it soon. And I'm stepping up the filtration. Let me show you how I've got it linked in downstairs. 
Okay, so now we're down in my basement and part of my house. It's, it's like a hundred years old and uh, my basement looks like it. So uh, this is where I'm pumping my water in from. And uh, up until t today, when I do my, my refill of the uh, reservoir, uh, we were only using one of these. <clears throat> these are 20 micron uh, filters. And what I've done now is I've linked because you know, I bought a pack of two, uh, I've linked uh, both of them in. So whatever the first one misses, hopefully the second one catches, and uh, hopefully I can just step it up a little bit this way. It it works, the flow is fine, and uh, that's where we're going with that. So we're going to continue to uh, change out the water over the course of the next few days until everybody gets down to the two-filtered water. And... Uh, my hope is this will be enough to save my eggs. So everybody's getting settled in and uh, we're going to have uh, two perfectly good running and breeding stations by the end of the day. I've got two other pairs in the main tank that have been uh, flirting. So I'm actually down a breeding station right now, but they shouldn't be ready for another month or two, hopefully. The fish I've seen flirting. Oh, we have some activities going on back back here as well. Uh, these guys, I think, are both males, and they're having a little standoff right now. The fish I have seen, uh, big reds, like, no, I'm the boss. Don't even try it. Yep. Fish I've seen flirting are these blue ones. I think what is that one there? I have two of these, and I believe I, they're they're gonna pair off. And it might even be these two right here. Uh, brilliant Turks. I got a couple of those getting ready to. They're doing the. Doing some of the early flirting, early courting stuff that I've seen the snake skins do. So we'll see what happens there. Probably gonna end up with like way too many pairs and not enough spots to house them, but I guess it's a good problem to have. I'm working on it though. Got another stack of three 20 gallon uh, breeder stations on the table in the works. Lumbers collected. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna get done, and we're gonna have some babies. So yeah, I'm hoping my little twenty to twenty-five dollar filter solution is gonna pull enough of those heavy metals out of my city tap water for my eggs to survive the four days they need to in order to hatch. And if this works for me, I'm going to be happy because it's a relatively cheap solution. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm going to step it up by adding in a 5 micron uh, $100 uh, dual filter system. So there'll be, it'll go through another, I'll run them all. And eventually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna dial it in. But uh, again, the uh, RO solution. I'm trying not to go that way because it's wasteful with water, and it's expensive in a thousand different ways. It'll probably make my landlord hate me. And uh, yeah, so we're just not gonna do that. I don't want to be wasteful at all. Right now I'm using like a bathtub of water a week. It's not a big deal. And, uh, so, that's where we're at for today. Fish are doing good. Water's looking clean. And all the filters are running beautifully. Ciao for now.